Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sink Into Madness. Hope everybody's having a good day. I'm doing fantastic. Guys, today's episode 23 and I've got a great episode planned for you. Hashtag question of the day for today. Would you rather be stuck on one heart permanently or eat spider eyes for the rest of Minecraft? Let me know down in the comment section below. So spider eyes give you the chance of getting poisoned, hunger, things like that because it's a brawl and poisonous food or you have the chance to die all the time <laughs> so let me know what you guys think using hashtag question of the day i'd really like to know as always if you enjoy this series make sure you hit that like button and subscribe it really helps the channel out so this is episode 23 episode 22 or episode 21 got 266 likes I told you guys, if you got over 250 likes, I would give you a mega chance cube. And I am a man of my word. So guys, today's goal, uh, goal for today's episode is going to be 250 likes once again. And as always, if you beat that, you will get another mega chance cube. So let's strive for that goal and get her done. So where do we want to go for this one? I kind of want to go a little bit. Oh, the Santa Clauses did work. They just didn't spawn in my area. That's exciting, because I didn't see any of the Rudolph. These are Satan Claws, by the way. This is Rudolph. So how much damage did that do to him? About half? Okay, cool. <laughs> That's awesome. That's very exciting, because I was I thought that they weren't spawning. For some reason, they just don't spawn on my base. I don't know. That's weird. Anyways, let's go. I'm on. I'm on oh, I'm on fire. Okay, so flying too fast makes my guy go a little bit too hot. I see. Christmas vacation. I wonder what uh, modifier that is. Dragon egg. That's not good. I thought for sure a dragon was going to spawn. Very, very sketchy. <laughs> that made me nervous, not going to lie. Oh, Grievers! Christmas vacation. I don't know, man. This power glove doesn't seem all that great. Although my Shuriken doesn't do that much damage either, to be honest with you. Okay. Another one here. I can't break that. If I if I break that, bad things are going to happen. I got to do it, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm scared. Is it gonna let me break it? Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, we got lucky, man. That's a lot of TNT. Oh my god. We got a lot of TNT. Closer, should I move? Ooh. Wow. Is it over? Finally. Alright. It even exploded over here some. Dang. That was uh quite the TNT explosion. Okay. <laughs> One more Irish block here. Those Irish ones are deadly, man. Okay. I also want to check this guy out. <laughs> Grab that. Okay. Here we go. Mega chance cube time. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Something good. Something good. Oh, that is something good. Ore towers. I wonder if there's any ores in there I can, can't can naturally get. Not really. Oh, uh, what's that one? Gold ore. Interesting. Okay, let's head back to the base. So today, we have got to accomplish a few things here. Uh, first thing we got to do today is we have got to fight two withers. I want to go to the inn to fight the dragon. Um, for now, for some reason, I can't remember why I wanted to fight the dragon. There is a reason why I want to fight the dragon. And for some reason, I can't remember what it was now. Uh, where's my house at? Over here. So, what was the purpose of me wanting to fight the dragon? Besides the quest, I think there was another reason I wanted to do that. 
Uh, let's look at the quest book real fast, because I know we're coming up on that dragon fight. Um, so it wants me to get ancient spores. So that shouldn't be too too hard. I've got a little bit of dirt here. Let me grab some a sieve. Uh, Christmas vacation. I wonder if ancient spores. What do they come from? Only. Okay, only string. So. Where? Grab that. So let's see if we can complete this quest because I do want to fight the withers to get that done. There was another reason I wanted to fight the ender dragon and I can't remember why. And it completely slipped my mind. So fantastic. So let's see if we can get ancient spores on the first go. I doubt it. Because, <laughs> you know, I have horrendous luck when it comes to that kind of stuff. Oh, God, I'm just breaking everything. Okay, let's try it again here. Got it. I can't believe I got it that easy. So confirm. Oh, I remember why I wanted to fight the Wither. I wanted the Wither Arena. That's why I wanted it. I didn't want to fight the dragon. I wanted to fight the Wither so I had a place to fight the Wither so I could get Nether Stars. That was the reason, and I remember it now. And the reason why I wanted Nether Stars is because I was considering making this haste. To fight the dragon, I need to get Dragon's Breaths. To get to the end, I need to fight the Withers. That was the whole purpose. I feel much better about myself right now, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> okay, let's put all that away. So it wants me for the next quest to get uh, three skulls and four soul sand. Um, grab some soul sand. And so what do I have for skulls? Because I know we ran that for a while with... Oh, I have four of them. And I think I might be able to craft some more. So do I, let's try this crafting recipe first. There's one. We might actually have enough for another one. What was the other crafting recipe? Wither dust and drops of evil. Oh, snap. I have enough for another one. So we can fight two withers today. Um, so we should be able to claim this. That's exciting because this is going to help us a ton when fighting. The only thing I'm a little bit nervous about with fighting this wither is my armor overheating. So I need to figure that out really quickly. So that's got something to do with the leggings, I think. I think that's... That would be... I don't think there's a fly speed. Uh, Sprint multiplier. Maybe turn that down just a little bit. That's already low. That's already low. So let me just test it real fast. I just... I need to see if I'm going to catch on fire or not. Okay, I think we fixed it. Uh, sort of. Sort of. If we get in the water, we're fine. It's a lot better than it was before. I think if we just take the fight slow, we'll be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get prepped for that, and I'll be back. Guys. Okay, guys. So we're going to go and fight these withers. Uh, the only thing I really did to prepare was just refill our bag and grab some vials so I don't die. Other than that, I think we're good. I also grabbed my sword. That glove just doesn't seem to be what it used to be. I'm not sure if it's just something that I don't remember correctly or what, but it's not as good as it once was, that's for sure. So we need to fight two withers and we're going to we are going to like literally try our best to stay inside of this range. There we go. So I should have wither effect just fine. And I, you know what? I'm actually kind of curious of something. How much damage is this going to do? That didn't do too much damage at all. I should probably kill this guy first. Okay. So these fights are going to be relatively easy. You just got to shuriken him till he gets to half health. And then just annihilate him with my sword. And as long as we stay inside of here, we should be good to go. And I should be able to tank him just like this. As long as I just keep moving, I should be fine. I'm actually kind of curious to see how my armor is going to hold up against his hits. Okay. And naturally, we get uh, a blight. Let's see if I can get him to 
It's really, really hard to hit this guy with these shurikens. He's got like a very... Oh, it's like towards the bottom, it looks like. It's like, it's like right... There. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna take so long. Sword faster? Sword much faster. I gotta be careful that he doesn't hit me though. If he hits me, he might kill me. Blights are very, very strong. I can't believe he's a freaking blight. Did that do anything? It made him bounce. He didn't really lose too much health though. You gonna die today, boy. All right, first fight finished. All right, I like those little stars it makes on the ground. Second fight time, let's go. Let's do this thing, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Okay. There we go, number two. And let me get my recorder out. Wow, that only took us three minutes to, to fight that one. Did I lose any? Nope, I kept all of my health. Hit me right off the rip, man. I wonder, like, what are the chances? Or, like, what's, like, the... Like, the luck? Hold on, it's a little bit loud. I wonder what the chances are of, um... Getting, like, a blighted wither. That would be crazy. I bet he's, like, mega strong, too. Okay. Yeah, that's, a. Uh, that wither pet is something nice, man. I'll tell you that right now. That thing is OP. We're doing pretty good if we can tank the wither this good. I don't think the dragon's going to be a problem. All right. So can I... I can't hit him like that. He doesn't really... Hit. He has a weird, weird hitbox. I'm hitting... Oh. Is he not taking damage? There we go. Blights without... Uh, these guys without health are much easier. There we go. Alright, so we have killed both of our Withers. We have two more Philosopher's Stones. That was the whole point of this. So now, when we go fight the dragon, we can have the dragon's breath. Plus, we get a chance to... Uh... That's going in an awful familiar direction. Okay, is it going up? Please don't hit my base. Please don't hit my base. Please don't hit my base. Okay, it's going upwards, thank god. Gotta remember to cool down. There we go. So, you. So let's put that up, 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 that up. Ne uh, did I, wait, did I only get one star? I didn't pick up any nether stars. Really? I've got two stars. I had one from before. That makes me almost want to go back up there. Did I like... I'm going to have to watch the video or something. I'm missing some nether stars. That's kind of weird. I also didn't get another heart. Did I put it in here? No. I only got one heart. It's like I only fought one wither or something. I think I used another nether star to build the builder's wand, right? Hold on. So I'm I'm pretty much missing every drop from that second fight then. I'm gonna go up here real fast and check that. Because I want my drops. So Yeah, that's that's pretty strange actually. Nothing here. I'm gonna watch the video back. But I should be, I should have other stuff. Okay, guys, after watching the video back, there was the first Wither who dropped items. He dropped everything we got. The second Wither actually didn't drop anything. Not sure. I didn't get a Nether Star. I didn't get a heart. I didn't get anything. So I'm not really sure what to do 
Um, so the first thing I wanted to make today was the end cake. Now, we're not going to be fighting the dragon this episode, most likely next episode. But I did want to craft it today. So, Philosopher's Stone. Yeah, that's that's super weird. I'm not sure. The thing that sucks is, is that we need the Nether Star that we lost because uh, without that, then we're kind of screwed for some of the, the like rings and stuff that I want to make. So, there we go. All right. Let's put all that away. So, claim reward. So we can pick a mask. Claim reward. And we now have a jetpack. We could switch to the Vibrant Jetpack. That could be good. That's funny that you get that right before you uh, fight the dragon. <laughs> okay. So next up, is this the dragon fight? All right. Well, let's put this stuff away. There, there. And open you. We got some eggs and cobblestone. We never get anything good out of those bags, man. Nothing. All right, yeah, that's that's super weird. So I think today, guys, is going to be the day. The day that we switch over to, um, to AE. I need to craft probably two more, um, two more 64K drives. But when we come back, our AE system is going to be up and running. The only thing I need to look at real fast is just how we craft controllers. Uh, uh, that's not controller. That's a controller. Okay, that's not bad. So how do we make this stone then? So the stone is just dust and lava. That's easy. I can set that up pretty fast. Um, hmm. So let's actually check something really quickly. I want to... We have a lot of backup lava. Okay. That's going to go pretty fast. So how much do I have any Certus dust in there? I think all of our Certus dust would probably be in the machine room. Christmas vacation. Dust. So I don't have any dust in there, which means that I'm probably going to need to make some. There we go. So this one's going to be a little bit different because we're not going to have as many channels to run off of because I'm not putting it in the ceiling. It's just going to be in the floor. What I think we're probably going to do is a 7x7. Seven seven. So that would be 7, 14, and then it will be 5 on the inside. So 14 plus 5 is 19, plus 5 more is 24. So I need 24 total controllers. Those controllers. So we'll need to make pure Fluix if I don't already have that. Let's actually check and let's go into the other room real fast because we're going to need some things here. So, first off, let's check pure. I don't have any pure fluix. I can make that, though. That's just fluix dust and sand in the chamber. Um, 24 times 4 is going to be quite a bit of sky stone. So, 24 times 4. We'll need 96 sky stone, so that's like a little less than two stacks. And then we'll need, um, like, 25 diamond processors. So do we, how many of the diamond processors do we have now? If we have any, we don't have any. Okay, not a big deal. I can pretty much make all of that pretty simply. So I'm going to get working on that. And when we come back, we're going to set things up. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've been working on this thing quite a bit. I think we have enough sky stone now, though. Uh, let this just quickly run out. I have a lot. So I've been like... Not only did I get all of the stuff for the processors and everything made for that, I made the 264K drives like I wanted to. I also set up auto processing for uh, Yellorium. So we once we get that all set up, we can insert that into and out export of the uh, of the reactor. So we got that all set up. So let's go ahead and come over here and I'll show you that. So Put this over here. So I've already got 175 sky stone. Uh, this is working around the clock with Yellorium in it, basically pumping it out as fast as possible. So first thing we need to make is the controllers. We needed about 25 controllers total. 
So I don't want to overcraft them because those materials are pretty hard to get in the first place. So, so let's see. We're going to go there. Yeah, that's the first corner. So first corner. And then... Oh, my magnet mode's off. I'm making... Making char or not charge, but making fluix dust for the pure certus. Okay, eventually I'll get this right. There we go. So there, and then finally, right here. So that'll take care of that. And then all we need to do now is just remove the rest of it. So that'll be our controllers. Now, if we need to make more, we can. It's not a big deal. There. Next up, so once we get our setup up and running, we need to start uh, by exporting everything out of the system. I gotta be super careful. I just like I'm breaking stuff on my reactor. The reactor is important. So let's let me finish placing all these down real fast. Say Merry Christmas to you. So put that there. So reactor is now complete. We need to go outside real fast and return on our... I'm actually kind of curious how much... Oh, it's it's still doing really well on fuel. That is surprising. I didn't think it would be doing that good. I thought it would be almost nearly empty, to be honest with you. All right. So now that that's finished, we need to go and grab all this stuff. So unfortunately, my Eulorium setup is going to have to move. There we go. So for now, I'm going to set this up right here. So let's see. Put you here. And then the cable. So eventually, this will move to the middle. Put that right there. Put that right there. So then I need to install the power. Where do I want to put power? I needed to I need to be able to access the power. So there we go. So AE is now moved to the center room and we need to start extracting everything into the system. How do I want to do this? So the the problem here is that uh the I keep breaking the reactor. The problem here is that the easy storage mod and the reactor, well not the reactor but AE don't mix. So we gotta like almost ender chest the system, I think. Probably what we're gonna have to do. So first and foremost, let's grab this ender chest and put this right here. Uh, we're gonna need, is it still over there? No, so it should be in here. We're going to need this. We're going to need those acceleration cards, which means I think it's in the inscriber. There we go. So we need to make ourselves an import bus. Import. Let me sync that with any eye. JEI synchronized. I think we're good now. There's a certain way to do it. JEI synchronized. There we go. So import. I don't know if I have uh, enough stuff in there for pistons. Piston. I don't know if I have any slime balls though. Slime balls. Right there. Okay. Slime ball. You. Import. There we go. So I'm actually gonna move move this up a block so I don't have to waste any cable. So we'll put this here, that there. That's to say, that's probably filling up. I think we'll probably be okay with like two. There we go. So that's gonna start filling up. Good deal. So now I need to extract everything from the system and put it into the ender chest. So, to do so, I'm going to need to connect them up further. Do I have any storage? This should be more than enough. Put you there, put you there, put you there. Actually, I'm going to remove this one. 
There we go. Put you there. Do I have any conduit in here? Two pieces should be enough. Put that there. I think that's how I need to do it, right? Well, I don't know if that's going to extract from that or not. Oh yeah, that's definitely pulling out of there. But that is really, really slow. So, can we make speed upgrades? Pretty much missing everything. Okay, cool talk. Uh, I might actually have electrical steel. 34. So, let's see if the upgrades actually do anything. So, speed upgrades. Let's try one first. So we saw how fast this was going. So it's like a couple every item, a couple items every second. So yeah, it's it's that's definitely definitely faster. Let's make like three more, four more maybe. There we go. So let's see how fast that's going to be now. Honestly, it doesn't seem like it's any faster. Like, watch this. Still doing 20 at a time. Huh. Do I have any more item conduit? I have an idea. I think. Am I out of Enderim? Ender Nuggets. Oh, I have Enderim right here. I have an idea. I think the reason it's going so slow is because the cables are, or that is limited to speed per side, maybe. So, remove that, put that there, and extract that. Still doesn't really seem like it's going any faster. Hmm. Well, I'll let both sides run with two of each, and then I'll have to just AFK or something for a minute to pull that out of there faster. I don't think there's any way to do that besides by hand. So we'll have to let that run for a while. But other than that, we are officially on the move to switching over to Applied Energistics. Very exciting. And I don't think I have another extraction. No. Interesting. Okay, let me steal that. Let's so say maybe if we make another extraction point. That. Easy storage. I'm gonna say, unless I have like literally all that, I'm not wasting time with it. We'll make one more. Let me see if this makes a difference or not with this cable here. So I'll put that extraction point on top of that. Put the cable there. Because it kind of seems like it's limited to buy the extractor. I mean, it skipped like 200. Uh, it's going down pretty fast. Okay, well, I think that's probably going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Otherwise, I hope you guys all have a great day. This is iJevin. Peace out.